presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Alan Homosasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The artist's relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 69, Nasdaq's up 102, SP's up 9, gold contract uh, up $7.50, traded at 1877 an ounce. We have silver down 16 cents, 23 dollars 82 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck, 80, 74 dollars 78 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note up 12 ticks, trading 114 19. The 30 up a full 20 at 129.27 and King Dollar. King Dollar is down 826, trading 103.062. Euro is at 107. Yen is out here at a price point of 131. The British pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the TFNN, let's get over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Dave is the head of product and managing director at Direction.com. As you're over our website, folks, just hit that Direction banner. It can bring you right over to their website. We're talking daily levered and inverse ETF structures and a whole bunch more over that site. Dave Mazza, Happy New Year. Hey, Happy New Year. I'm glad to be back. It's great to have you back. And I'm glad, can, you know, let me ask you something, Dave, right? The, and this is on something different, but I know you knew, know what these rules are. We're getting a lot of calls, right? And the aspect of, you know, um, now this isn't yeah, in your company, but you know the GBTC, okay? So people are reading that they're trying to change as GBTC, and I know you've explained a couple rules to us before, but can you just explain to us, like, why they can't change that versus the ETFs that you guys have? Yeah, so let's take a big step back here. It's Good, reasonable that folks are are are, um, are asking questions about this because it's been in the news. Uh, as an ETF geek, I'm following it along with all my friends. So let's pay attention to it. And GBTC um, is a security, right? You can buy it and sell it on an exchange, but it's structured as a trust okay. that 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 uh, uh, trades um, on exchange. Now there's some arcane rules behind it, but all all you need to know is effectively. It functions as a closed-end fund, which is one of the reasons why you have these big premium and discounts that happen. Right. Because there's only a limited number of shares that are issued in the primary market, and then, of course, it trades in the secondary market on the exchange. In ETF structure is um, exchange-traded fund, right? Uh, but let's spell it out for a minute. That exchange-traded component is really, is really important because what that does is that it has a what's called kind of a continuous IPO on any given day direction and any other ETF issuers are creating either new shares if there's inflows in the fund or destroying those funds, destroying those shares, removing those shares from the market if there's redemptions. And that's one of the reasons why generally ETFs don't trade with big premium and discounts, even fixed income ETFs, gold ETFs, leverage and inverse right. ETFs, what have you. Because there's an active market of traders um, like you and me out there and basically an active market of institutions who are working actually with the ETF to make that happen. And lastly, GBTC is asking 
to try to convert into that ETF structure because there's a lot of benefits to that primarily. Then let's set aside what's inside of it, of course, as we know, Bitcoin. Um, but um, outside of that, that the ETF structure has, which is why even in a really horrible market for equities, fixed income and nearly everything in between, ETFs had their second best year of inflows last year as a whole. Yeah, and it makes sense. So, so a trust, and that, that's why we see the, you know, lately that what we're talking about, folks, is that the, the negative premium. So it's like if you were going to buy Bitcoin, like why not buy this? But I wouldn't buy it because I'm so scared. Like how do you trade at a negative 40 percent premium? That, that's the thing that is like really hard to get your head comprehended around. But I, I understand what you're saying because it's a trust and there's only so many shares. So what happens is that if people just sell too many or buy too many, right, that's the fluctuation in the, in the price and not yeah, the underlying exactly. value, exactly. maybe. So there is, a, there is an argument to be made, and we're hearing some stories about this, that if, if a, a large enough group of, of, of uh, investors or traders got together, you, 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 could, you could buy the, the shares in the market, and, and you, you know they're worth more, right, because they're trading at – a 40% discount. Okay. But the mechanism to, to close that discount doesn't really, doesn't really exist. Right. right. Now. Um, so I wouldn't be seeing this and saying free money at all. No, for um, sure. In fact, I'd be saying the opposite, which is sort of, I think what you're alluding to. And no, exactly. And you know what it's happened and listen, we really appreciate the, you know, explanation. I know, you know, this is not your company. I got to promote direction, but that's not it. We really appreciate the education because this one here has been a mind scratcher, man. I mean, you know, and we'll see where it ends up, but I don't think it's going to end up too good myself because it's like I've been doing this long enough. If something is minus 40 percent or 35 percent, well, there's a reason behind it. You know what I mean? So because why wouldn't someone come in and just buy it all right and then try to close it out? But it, 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 exactly, exactly. And so let's um, I think this is also important to note. When um, uh, and leverage and inverse ETFs, as you know, direction special, uh, specializes. Yes. They have in in our portfolios, as I've explained before. We have individual securities. We could own the underlying ETFs, and then we have swaps and other instruments to help amplify that exposure. And even and and that may sound complicated to folks, but even with within that. Um, the, our ETFs, the majority of them trade extremely well, massive volume on exchange because the ETF structure, right? That's the powerful benefit. Whether we're talking again about uh, a fund like GLD, which owns individual gold bars, what have you, SoxL, which offers amplified exposure to, to right. semiconductors or even, or even our, our new single stock ETFs. That, and, and, and that's also um, why we're seeing Mutual funds convert to ETFs because people want the benefit, uh, the flexibility of having to be able to trade on exchange with the transparency that you can have regardless of what's inside of it. Yeah, you have a much better product. I'm, I'm pulling, I just pulled up Nugget, right? So if you're looking at my screen, folks, okay, Nugget is trading at 40.95. It was just 41.02, and that's the exact net asset value. This net asset will change again. But yeah, you stay within pennies of a highly volatile market, which right. is so cool. Right. Amazing. Well, listen, man, I really appreciate the uh, education, Dave. You have a great one, safe one. We look forward to speaking to you two weeks from today. We really appreciate you, you know, really getting that under control for us, man. Happy to do so. Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy New Year, man. Currencies, right there, commodities, folks, right and back. bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. You when Steve? you sign up for the Tiger Forex report, okay. you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60 minute webinar archive. He just hosted Forex strategies and fundamentals. What is behind the Tiger Forex report for all the details and to start your 30 day Tiger Forex report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials uh, down uh, 102. The Nasdaq's up 90. S&Ps are up uh, five and a half. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see Mastering Probability. You go to Newsletters. You see Master and Probability right on the right-hand side, top row. You can get Master and Probability for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Steve not only has a great newsletter, when you get his newsletter, folks, okay, you're going to get a huge amount of information over there. You got a lot of good archives over there. If you want to understand how to ride that market, check it out. 30-day money-back guarantee, great deal. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, big-time celebration here in Florida, Tom. As you know, all three of our NFL teams are in the playoffs. That's pretty wild, isn't it? I know. I, <laughs> I saw that stat last night after... Uh, <laughs> Well, I, I don't know if that's Lions ever happened won. before. Yeah, right, right. I, I don't know if that's ever happened before. But that was the Lions. Uh, they really, you know, I'm originally from Detroit. And, that's right, uh, so that's right. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, Gordy it's Hall, a, man, it's, that's right. It's, it's been a tough road. Uh, but, uh, you know, they really did look they really did look good this year. They did. And they did. I, I, I enjoy yeah. watching uh, uh, last night's uh, game yeah. uh, out there as well. So we'll see. You know, um, what, what's going to be cool is next Monday, you guys have the Monday night game. I know. So Tampa and the Cowboys. So, you know, that's going to be a tough game. Uh, uh, going against Buffalo, that's going to be a tough game for Miami. And Jacksonville going against uh, the Chargers. That's that's not going to be an easy game either. So we'll, we'll see what happens. But it is great to get all four, all three uh, Florida teams into the uh, playoffs out there. Everyone's coming to Florida. We got all the winning teams. That's so it. I don't know if it's I don't. Know, so I was with somebody last night who was thinking of moving down. He's from the Northeast. He said there's something like twelve thousand people a day moving it's, to the state. It's is that brilliant. It? Yeah. No. It's a, it's a monster number. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Right, we started we we started figuring that out. I said that, that that didn't seem right, but uh, but hey, come on down, right? We uh, come on down. Totally, hey. Yeah. <laughs> so hey, I thought we would do here beginning of the year. Okay. So we've got some different uh, cycle type patterns that we can take a look at, and one of the tools that I use, um, it's uh, provided by the folks over at Seasonix. They've done a really tremendous job of being able to put together the all of the historical data so that you can take a look at it over time to see what kind of seasonal patterns might be in 
in play, and it gives you a lot of flexibility. So I used to do all this work on spreadsheets by hand, and it took pretty much forever. You know, trying to line up, you know, the the month of January in 1923 to to 19 to to 2022 as an example. Sure. You know, not so easy to do. So these guys have got it done. Uh, the, this chart here that we're looking at. We are now in the third year of a presidential cycle, and it has a cyclical pattern. If we take a look at the red lines, folks, as we take a look at some of these charts, those represent where we're at today, just so you can see. So if the if this is the undercurrent here, uh, the third year of a presidential term, we should be expecting a sideways move for a little bit out here. And we can see it, it sort of tops, nothing significant to the uh, downside, a little bit like the consolidation that we have been in. What this does, though, tell us is that the low for the year could possibly be in. So if the market follows this cycle, that's what its message to you and I is. If we take a look at the Dow and just go back over the last 126 years, so this takes us back to 1897. Again, the red line on the left-hand side shows us exactly where we're at. So this is just the normal, uh, it doesn't matter whether it's a presidential cycle, just simply all the data since uh, for the last 126 years. And what is the average price movement? Well, turns out that uh, today uh, on an average basis would be a uh, top. Price would move down into the uh, middle of January, maybe the end of next week or so, then move higher. Then one more move down to about the end of uh, February, and then it takes off. And again, in this case here, this is indicating that, we, that the low for the the year uh, could be in for the uh, Dow. There's another cyclical pattern, Tom, that you and I can take a look at. And this shows us, so we're entering 2023. And what we can do with all this data is we go back and just take a look at years that end in threes to see what kind of cyclical pattern it has. Here, this suggests that we should see a, now I'm just taking a look at the Dow in these charts here. This And the reason I've done that, folks, is because I have more data to be able to utilize. So for years ending in three, much more data than if I looked at the S&P 500. Uh, third year of presidential cycle, much more data in the Dow than I have inside the S&P 500. But here inside the Dow would suggest that actually we would see the market top out about now and then move lower into February and then take off. That would be the end of the uh, the, the bottom of the uh, 2023, in this case here, is suggesting towards the end of uh, February. So that's for years that are ending in three. Now, you and I know, we listen to the uh, uh, talk shows or driving around listening to the channels and so forth, and economists continue to, to debate whether the U.S. is in a recession or not. So if there's a debate, we're not sure, you know, how do I figure out what the market might be doing? Well, there's an issue, there's a fact out there that is not disputable. And that fact is that uh, inflation is outpacing GDP, otherwise known as stagflation. Now, there's employment uh, data that goes along with that. But if we take a look at uh, stagflationary periods, uh, and here I've got this uh, charted out. This data here is from the World Bank, I believe is where I got that from. Maybe it was uh, from a Fred, a St. Louis Fred uh, site out there. And here, what we can see is that this is inflation outpacing GDP, and it lasts from 1973 to 1983. Okay, so we've got some data here, although it's for a short period of time, 10 years, but it, and, and that's over the uh, the entire period of the uh, of the uh, Dow out here. If we take a look at that 10-year period of time, here's what its cyclical pattern looks like. And what this tells us, Tom, is that price really continues to move higher. We fluctuate up and down, but it continues to move higher into about the middle of May. And then the market just simply moves lower. So we are in, or we appear to be in, a stagflationary period of time out there. So that's a really good uh, chart to take a look at. So missing from the Dow's historical price movement that we just took a look at out there is the doom and gloom. You know, that's discussed on television. So why? Because we just took a look at a third year of a presidential cycle. That looks like markets or the Dow moves higher. The regular seasonal cycle pattern, years ending in three, and then even an average price movement during uh, stagflation. So if we go take a look at the charts, so that's what the cycles are. The way that I take a look at those cycles, Tom, if it's a cycle high or a cycle low, I'm looking for some type of confirmation on pattern recognition tools. Yes. Well, here, these are the weekly charts. This is the weekly chart for the Dow on the left, the Dow equity future contract on the right. And what they did was they both formed what I refer to as roads momentum indicator bottom patterns. This is on a weekly chart that we're taking a look at. Here's the weekly chart for the Dow going back to 2009. And those blue arrows are identifying roads momentum indicators indicator bottoms and we can see that each time these formed here on a weekly basis they've identified significant bottoms so we just took a look at in that cyclical pattern has to at least has me saying hmm 
maybe we have put in a significant bottom. We can go back before March of 2009, and the next Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom pattern that forms was in 2002. Well, that identified a pretty significant bottom in the market. So if folks would like to learn this. Tom, as you mentioned earlier, they simply can subscribe to Mastering Probability. They can go right to the ultimate reversal patterns out there. And it's a one-hour workshop. Nice. And they will learn exactly how the Rhodes Mintum Indicator pattern and tool does. Lastly, this is just a quick chart, a weekly scan that uh, uh, subscribers uh, get access to. It shows all the weekly Rhodes Mintum Indicator bottom patterns that are out here for these instruments. Just a small little snippet. Of, uh, of what mastering probability can provide for customers. Steve, let, let me ask you. So the, we're only in the second week of, uh, you know, 2023. January. So yes. if the Dow takes out the lows, are you saying of, of 2023? Th that saying that, or are we talking the October lows? We're talking about the January lows. January lows, okay. Yeah. Get over yeah. to TFNN, folks. Growling and prowling. Thanks, man. You bet. Subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 113. You get the NASDAQ uh, up 93. S&Ps are um, up three. This is all going to be, well, the S&Ps are going to be red, folks. Um, this thing, the, the, the futures are pushing lower here, and they want... Uh, red at this particular point. Let's go take a look at Lockheed Martin for a couple of the Tigers. Lockheed Martin, the lows 359, the highs 498. You're trading at 458. This pays a 2.6% dividend at that point. They're coming out with their earnings on the 24th of this month. They're going to be looking to do uh, 65, uh, well, 18.3 billion. So it's a little less than last quarter with uh, $7.40 to, to the, the bottom line. Next year, they're looking to do $65 billion and bring $27 to the bottom line. So you're running at a P.E. of 20 out here. So let's take a look and see what we have. Okay, so you get a consolidation at the top. It failed the whole price. Came off the highs on Friday with volume and just broke the consolidation. So the consolidation is 4 
58. That says it's yeah. I'm going to put this on the weekly for a second, but this is this is saying this Lockheed will all go all the way back to 435, right where it broke, where it started from. That was a monster day when they went from 401 to 435. So the top of that is 435. That's on the daily. We take a look at the weekly. Oh, interesting. Yeah, be careful here. On the weekly, you can see what happened. It's a false breakout. So look at this. So last time we had volume, we pay, take this, I want to put this on a monthly instead. Monthly should, we'll do the same thing, but to get a clearer picture. Okay, so yeah, on the monthly, you can see this 479 had volume of uh, 73 million, and we get above it with 32, and we get above that with 23. Oh, this is not, be careful with this, man. Okay, so let's go over this again, because this, when you get a contraction that this heavy, this is pretty intense. Okay, the monthly took out the month going all the way back to March 2020, took that out with 73 million shares. Then we contracted, that price there, we were at 479, we contracted down to 373. We took that out with 32 million. Then we took it out with 23. Now, forget it, man. This is going down to the bottom of the consolidation, so I'd be really careful on LMT. That's saying that see, we're coming right back down the other side. And that's also telling us that what you're going to get here um, is a continued downdraft in the market. Because if the defense, let's, let me look at this for a second. Because if these defense companies are pulling back, they're, they're all going to pull it back. Let me look at this for a second. Let's see. So let's go look at the strongest one all year. Well, I'm going to pull, yeah, it's BAE Systems, okay. So this is in London, but I'm just curious, I want to pull this anyway. B-A-L-N, B-A, there we go. Okay, so this is out of London, folks, but they have plenty of offices in the United States. They have a monster office up in Lexington, Mass., and that's where Raytheon is. Raytheon's on. And the tag has been shot. Ooh, that's going to be a good one, man. <laughs> yeah, BAE wants to pull back, too. B A BAE, last time it had any volume is... Now, this is in um, pounds. This is actually in pence, I think. But this is... It's trading 835, and it wants to go to uh, 766 to 683. Yeah, I'd... You're on the right side of that trade, meaning on the short side. And the thing that's amazing, of course, is that, you know, um, it's like, okay, so defense contracts are going to pull back. Then you got the, we're going to have, there's going to be some good fights in the future, folks. <laughs> that's the bottom line. When we start talking budgets, when we start talking um, defense appropriations, that's what it seems like. Let's go take a look at uh, Tesla, because Tesla, you know, out here today, got a pop. Oh, okay. Let me take a look at that. One second. There we go. Let's go to Brent in Martinez, California. Hey, Brent, what's going on, man? Oh, I'm doing well. Uh, how are you doing, Tom? I'm doing great, man. Doing great. Vista, right? I had a, I had a question about Vista Gold. I just, your thoughts on that price action today. I don't know if it's just because it's a not the most liquid stock. It doesn't do a ton of volume. If they just kind of pushed it around or what, what happened there exactly about midday, it seemed like all of a sudden it was doing good. It was up there, paused, and then it, they kind of came in and sold it down a little bit or something. Jesus, look at this. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. This this is insane, folks, okay? And, and, I, and I not only own a lot of this, but I... Okay, so... Okay, so Vista, the low, lows 46 cents, the highs about 12, and... But Brent is talking about, look, look at this thing, man. This is like a mind blower, okay? So it goes from 58 cents, drops down to 50, all the way back up to 53. Let me look at this for a second. I'm going to see. What happens with this stock, Brent, is that if you, not you personally, I'm just saying people in general, if they own a lot of it, let me just say this, 37,053. Yeah, so it, it blows my mind that people don't understand how to trade this stock. So, folks, when you're looking at my screen right now, see this there, 37,000, 19,012, 
Uh, 13, 10, 5, 11, and 10. Okay, so when you move product, right, there are certain rules that you want to basically get around when you're moving product. And these are, this, more than likely, this could be like professionals that they don't even know what the heck they're doing, man. I've seen it a million times, okay? So the way it works is this, is that if you push, when you're selling or buying 10,000 or more folks, that gets routed to a different part of the server, of the brokerage. So if you're moving product out, like more than likely what happened here, Brent, see the, all these big numbers? Because that's what did it, right? They, they were over the 10,000 mark. So what ends up happening over the 10,000 mark, it basically can get, not that, that it gets held up, okay? But the, the broker is going to be able to see that quicker because it gets routed to, at a different thing as soon as you're over 10,000. So they can jam the stock down in a second. Like if you... If you're, if you're either buying or selling a lot of VGZs, folks, you got to keep it under 10000 when you're buying and selling it. So in this particular case, someone freaked, wanted to get out, right? Bottom line, sold it. The broker sold them down. And now, <laughs> now it's, you know, right back where it started. Where it, Well, yeah, it's where it started when it opened this morning, you know? So, I know it's interesting to watch. I happen to be watching in the first dip that it took down is at 58 cents, and then within a heartbeat, it was down at 54, and then it was all of a sudden back to 58, and then you know, then it, then I guess a bit more came in, and then it was more sustained down there. But it, it was interesting to watch. It's, I've traded it a lot. I plan on trading it a lot. And what happens is this: I'll tell you flat out. This is how it goes. If you're looking to get into it, but I'm talking about if you trade a lot, not. So, yeah. so what happens, like Brent, when if you see this thing get going south quick like this, and there's only ten or twenty thousand shares that were done, just look for bottoms and put bids in on those bottoms, because um, most of the time you see it snap back like this. That's the mind blow up. Um, if you are moving product out. And this equity here, if you're moving product out, this, this product has to be going up. There has to be, you know, the volume's great today, but there has to be volume in it. And you cannot push more, on one trade more than that 10,000. You can push 9,000 all day long and you'll see them snap out just like that. You know, but it's, yeah. It's a personality right, stock so for sure. Um, I appreciate it. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Now, uh, down 118. NASDAQ is flat. No, NASDAQ's down. Se NASDAQ's up 78. S&P's are flat. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien! Welcome back, folks. Let's take a look at FISA. P-F-E. Okay, so FISA, you get the low out here is trading at 41, the high is 57, we're trading 48. They're going to be coming out with their numbers on the 31st. And th this is pretty wild when you look at something like this. You get a PE of 7. 7. And, okay, so you got an ABC structure down. Let me put this on a day, a weekly rather, first. <clears throat> put this on a monthly. Okay, so, yeah, I wouldn't be biting on Pfizer right now. I mean, you start biting on it like at 43. They, what you have here, you know, you have an expansion, like when it, let's see, let me just do this number here, 44, that's like 14, it's 55. What is this up here? Yeah. So what happened here is this. You can see the consolidation going from 2018 all the way over to that big bar that on uh, November of 2021. That was your price projection. It would actually went over the price projection a bit. If you take the, the consolidation it was in right there, you take the top and the bottom, that would be the price projection up there. It went to 61 and, you know, 55 was basically the number ballpark. I didn't take the whole down to the bottom. Let me see what happens if I take the bottom. When, when you do something like this, folks, the spike ones, I try to take like where the most trading was done. But if I take the spike one, that's 26 and a half. That's like 18 points, which would get you for 62. And it cut to 64. Oh, look at it. Jesus. When you took the bottom to the top, it actually went right to it, 61. So when that happens, bottom line, you can expect it's going to be back into this 43 again. That's how it works. And these, F Pfizer in particular, is a slow machine, you know, but the bottom line is that you are getting paid for it. You know, your gross yield dividend is 3.3%. They're going to be looking to do uh, 24 billion and bring a buck to the bottom line. And then next year, they're looking... Okay, okay, this is intriguing, but be careful here, man. Do you see these numbers here? They're going from 100 billion this year to 75 billion next year to 68 billion the next year. So it's evident that they actually, you know, need some uh, new drugs that uh, bottom line they can pay up for. That's, some drug must be coming off-label, meaning when it comes off-label, folks, what ends up happening is that that's when the, you know, uh, generic drug makers can Use, use their patent, and then, um, yes, must, there you go. And then they can sell that for less expensive money because the bottom line is that they didn't have to, have to put the money into the research. They already got the formula. Okay, so if we take a look at inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow, you got Salesforce putting 45 positive points, Goldman 30, Microsoft 17, taken away from it. Amgen minus 37, Travelers 31, Johnson & Johnson 31, Merck 30. Inside the NDX 100, what do you have? 
So Lucid is up 7.3%, uh, Tesla's up 6.2%, NVIDIA's up 5.8%, AMD 5.6%. Taken away from it, Lululemon down 9.3%, Regeneron 7.5%, CGen 6.5%, and DocuSign 4.5%. Let's go to good old Lululemon, because there's no doubt this is a consumer darling and uh, a company that you know has done very well but it's a very expensive product folks so we take a look at it lululemon is topped out at 485 going all the way back uh to november of 2120 yeah you're gonna go after the lows again this wants to go after this uh 252 your 292 let's see Yeah, that's what it looks like. And dollar-wise, what they have. So dollar-wise, they're looking. They're looking at taking two point seven billion and bring four dollars and twenty nine cents to the bottom line, and that's a big number, man. Um, and their earnings. Of the 24th, but guess what? They just come out and their gross margin contraction is huge. Okay, so let's see what they cut. Uh, gross margin will shrink by, well, 90 to 110 basis points compared with previous inc forecast of an increase. Okay, so they, w they were looking for increase, now they get a decrease. Um, fourth quarter revenue estimate is going to range. $4.22 to $4.27 from $4.20 to $4.30. Well, that's, that's actually not that bad, man. The numbers they come out with are not that bad, but <laughs> the market said, see you. I get a feeling that that's a lot worse than we're talking about here. So, you know. Okay, so we got to get over to this dollar because th this, is, this is such a heads up, it's unbelievable. Meaning, you know, the dollar went south on Friday, right? And that's the explosion top side in the market. Now, the dollar like is getting smoked and the market can't move. And when you take a look at this dollar, this is what's like, this is like, <laughs> it's breaking a consolidation, man. So that, you know, the bottom, 103, 133, 103, 929. Yeah, man, I mean, this looks to me it can go lower, but evidently the market is saying, well, I don't care what you do right now, but if we go over to the gold contract, we take a look at gold. So gold had a decent day on Friday, but now that was a lost engulfing. So the way a lost engulfing works is that You'd want to see a close. You want to hear this? This is close. The way it works, folks, the way Lost Engulfing works is that the, the following day, you're looking for a close that's under the high of the day on Friday. <laughs> Wait do you hear this, man. The high of the day on Friday is 1875.20. Well, we're at 1875.30. <laughs> we'll see where this shakes out the next few minutes. But bottom line, that's telling me that we're going to have a failure up there somewhere. The thing that is a mind blower to me right now, there's no doubt, um, is that you have the dollar. Well, here, let's go to silver because you, you have the dollar down dramatically and gold can't catch a bid as the market can't catch a bid. But yet silver, which was lower, silver, you know, bottom line, the highest silver was about five days ago. And Syl was also telling me that, you know what, this thing's not done. So I suspect what we're going to see, you know, you got Powell speaking in Switzerland tomorrow morning. So that's going to be, he's going to be way ahead of us. Switzerland's a good six to seven hours ahead of us. So you're going to have the mantra once again that uh, these interest rates are not going to get laid down. These interest rates are going to be for a longer period of time. Listen, even if we stayed right where the interest rate was right now, the Fed fund rate, you stay there for a year. There's going to be hurting in this market, folks. And I'm talking about straight across the economy. Dow Industrial's down 74, NASDAQ up 79, S&P's up 4. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down uh, 84, NASDAQ's up 68, S&Ps are uh, up two. If we go take a look at the the S and P's, folks. Uh, you know, bottom line is that the market was up over 50 S and P points and gave it up in spades. So that's telling me we're going right downtown tomorrow again. So you can see 39.73 was your high out here. We're 39.18. You know, bottom line, it, we're still in that ABC structure down. You know, and the spy, the Qs, uh, and if we take a look at this right now inside the spy. It is no doubt as a complex one. You, you could spike it up to 393 today. You, you're dealing with uh, 388, and you have a monster contraction of volume. You're going into 117 million to get 62. Inside the NDX 100, we're going to see the same type of setup. Inside the three Qs, you got up to a price point today of 275. Right now, you're at 270, and you also got the contraction too. You, you, you're coming into 68 million, you get 42 million. This is, this is the, the, you know, I keep talking about building cause. This is the type of cause that you do not want. Because what we have here is this. You had a first leg down. See, the first leg down from the top was December 13th. And then that was like a four, eight days down, right? And then we'll be going sideways for 10 to 12 days. Bottom line, you gave it up on price. It's going to come right back at you. The B point on the Q's. It's 266.95, and right now you're at 270. So yes, it has to get back. 
inside the B point. Take the B point out again, but I expect that's what's going to do. The head scratcher right here, there's no doubt, is going to be this dollar. You know, I suspect somehow when Powell starts yapping tomorrow, um, you know, and I'll, I'll, I'm not quite sure what, what time it is. I was, um, but the bottom line is, I suspect when he starts yapping, he'll bring the stock market back to reality one more time that, uh, you know, listen, I, I get it. People have been so used to the put for so many years. I mean, you had the Greenspan put, you had the um, Bernanke put, you had, and you don't have a Powell put. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get them, folks.